cognizant of the public's interest and concern regarding the state of affairs on the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, during a September 24th town hall meeting in New York, has provided more insight on his decision to resume construction on the buildings situated on the original construction site, Phase 1. Upon assuming office last July, Honorable Pierre requested a status report from the Ministry of Economic Development on Phase 2. Phase 2, or a new construction site, was erected near the original construction site between 2019 and 2020, nearly three years after construction on Phase 1, the original construction site was abandoned. Honorable Pierre confirmed the Economic Development Ministry's report does not recommend proceeding with Phase 2. Given the logistical challenges of finishing the construction of the top floor of the facility while the ground floor operates as a functioning hospital, it is considered that the pursuit of the ground floor approach may not be the most prudent. An independent committee appointed last August was tasked with assessing both phases one and two of the St. Jude Hospital construction project. The committee's report concluded construction on phase one could have been completed as early as 2017. We formed the committee to look at both of the things. The committee had absolutely no gain in anything. And listen to what the committee said. It is evident from the financing that was secured and accessible up to August 2016, the level of construction of the St. Jude Hostel Phase 1, the procurement schedule, and the planned delivery of outstanding materials, the availability on island, on F, F, and E, and services already paid for in full. The scheduled commissioning of the facility by September 2017 was achievable. <laughs> Further, Further, the committee said, currently, there is no program for completion of any part of phase two. That's the box. <laughs> to facilitate the transfer of the operations of St. Jude Hospital from the stadium into, the, into part or any lower level of Phase two. The ill-advised decision to stop construction on the original St. Jude Hospital construction site, which was nearly 80% completed in 2016, has to date cost St. Lucian taxpayers more than $115 million. Prime Minister Pierre has honored his commitment to St. Lucia to action the most prudent safest and immediate option to deliver the St. Jude Hospital. Guided by the recommendations in official reports from two technical reviews, Honorable Pierre has announced construction on the original St. Jude Hospital construction site will resume in November. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.